Aha! That was a brilliant escape. That's a horrible looking train though. Like the tunnel and stuff looks pretty good, but for some reason the the model for that train just looked awful. It's a silent van ride back. All the way to wherever we were. We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Oh, Out I do. You. Believe me, I do. Anybody got anything funny to say? Where's that one guy, the British guy? Is he still over here? Yes, he is. Look at him. I'm gonna go talk to him. Got a, got a story? Oh, I, unbelievable. What's up? How close Your I am politicians to him. are constantly referencing the Founding Fathers and insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another. I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How could anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off scraps of paper and wishful thinking? They're looking for intent. What these men envisioned for our country and its future. Idealistic and unlikely. I don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought. They just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals. Who cares if they were deists or theists or wanted a central bank? Why do people need the validation? What should matter is what you, as an individual, believe, and why you it's believe it. a little it. preachy, man. What, are we so insecure that we have to find 18th century letters to validate our beliefs? Oh, look, Mum, a dead man agreed with me. Maybe. If you transpose the letters in his shopping list, you can plainly see he was on my side. Jesus, Sean. That's a cynical way to look at it. Doesn't make it less true. Uh, what a bastard. That guy was just being really, really preachy. I don't need to hear that. Alright, so do I put the power core up in the same place that the other one went? Probably. I would assume so, if I can even remember how I got up there. Climbed one of these things. Now oh, there's a staircase over here. Oh god, don't. What are you doing, man? Alright, I guess you know what you're doing. I don't like how they just randomly go flailing around in this game compared to the other ones. Seems like you have less control over stuff. And I don't appreciate that. Alright, I, I cannot see. I don't know if there's an easier way up here. There probably is, but I don't know it. Alright, obviously this is not where this one goes. Swell. Looks like there is a staircase that goes all the way up here too, isn't there? Well, where where do you want me to put this power core then, man? I have to go find some other stupid ass thing to put a power core in. Is there like a third level here? Eh, it doesn't look like it. Let's go check out what's going on over here, I suppose. Hey, there's the lady over there. She'll probably know what to do. How do I get to the that lady? Probably over this way, I would assume. Yep. What is a fact? Is it fixed? Immutable? Certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us. They were used to command. To control. To own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. That's handy. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand more. Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We Maybe. resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. 
In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control, to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Okay. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Well, that, that raises more questions than it answers, I suppose. But at least I've got a pretty good idea where I'm going. Whoa, get it, man. Alright, is there a control thingy up here? Not yet. We still have farther to go, it would seem. It's nice how every one of these staircases conveniently broke off in the same place where there's still enough room for him to jump. Well, she's got more to say, I guess. Our first instinct was to travel back, to change the past, but we could not find a way. But forward, we could look forward, and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves, and know what was to come. First we wanted to learn if our work would succeed, but the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things, but she remained. The one you call Minerva. I remember time, her, Kinda. She too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Who the hell said that? I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old. My alarm's going off. I gotta get that. Be right back. Alright, sorry about that. It's been a really bad day for my iPhone and recording, so here we go. To a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond, Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched, I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. I'm a little bit confused at who everybody is. It's a little convoluted at this point. Don't remember who Juno is compared to Minerva. Compared to whoever. But, oh well. I'm sure it'll become clear at some point. Alright, well that's probably the spot I need to go put this thing. Hmm. Doesn't look so good for crossing over there. Just want to see what's going on over here. There's definitely a pathway all the way over here. Is this where I'm actually supposed to go? Um, that doesn't look so promising, does it? Not particularly. There was a little, like, protrusion over here. Let's see what's going on with this, then. What am I stuck on? There we go. That was odd. Oh. I can't get over that way. Huh. Well. What would you have me do then, game? Where do these stairs go? Everything's all screwed up in here. This is kind of 
Silly. There's gotta be a way. This looks like the exact same place I already have been. Yeah, it does this loop around. How do you want me to get there, man? Aha, did I? No, this is where I came from. This is definitely where I came from. But. Uh, well, this is confusing. I really didn't see a way to jump around that, but maybe we can get up this pillar? If we can get up to the next level, we might be good to go. Can you climb this thing? Nope. He definitely can't. Doesn't seem to be much of anything here to climb. What happens if I jump down here? Alright, this, this looks less promising. This looks like it's somewhere I just was. Pretty sure this is not helping me that much. Maybe this is actually. Actually, wait a minute. I think we might be on to something here. Aha! Nope, she's not gonna talk to me anymore. Plug this bad boy in. But there's one more left to get. I would I would wager what are the stories the temple will tell me today. Yeah, it looks like there is. Yep. Oh, that will be one to deal with later then. Anyway, let's get back down into the animus here. Not really sure the best route back. I'm just gonna assume. I'm just gonna assume going down kind of makes sense. Or maybe it doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's go back up here. Let's see if we can get back to that staircase. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's not gonna happen. The hell, man! Oh, oh, oh! This is just where I was. Can I just like flail out of this thing? No, nope, we're good. We're good. So that's the new staircase that it opened up over there. It looks like too. I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know. Maybe they were sleeping or something, and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them. But not for you. Sealed to protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. Alright, well, I guess back to the Animus we go then. One second, though. Do you have anything new to say? So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us, but what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous? Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the other question. What makes me so special? A damn good question. I guess we'll know once we open the door. I have a feeling he's gonna have to sacrifice himself. This is my, my instinct here. <laughs> 